Hello, my name is uh, Mukisa Elisha. I'm a Ugandan of sound mind. I happen to be recruited into homosexuality by sexual minorities Uganda. Uh, in, in short, smug. At the age of 16, while I was in my high school, they actually come with a coupon. One of their agents, uh, some of the agents that are sent out to schools, to NGO homes such as SOS, Watoto, and then the, uh, the churches. They come and uh, with a coupon, invite you to one of their activities. Of course, they have well-equipped and well-facilitated uh, auditorium rooms and then shelters where they do their ag gay activities from. So. I was invited by one of their agents and asked to attend one of their activities. And then on the coupon, there was an indication that there was actually a transport refund of 500,000. So of course, for any other youth, for any normal youth, once somebody invites you for their activity, and then they're proposing to refund your transport of 500,000. So you can now imagine how very many could be lowered into acts of homosexuality so i attended one of their activities i agreed to go and attend because one of the reasons was because i was uh, ideally interested in the transport refund of 500,000 so i attended one of the activities and basically what they do is in the activities is to uh, of course give you fake lies about human rights and then in the process uh, they start uh, showing you like I said they have well equipped and facilitated auditorium rooms and shelters where they actually have projectors and then uh, show children gay porn how gay porn is made and then they convince them with that doctrine that each video that you shoot you're given uh, five million shillings so i was taken through the procedure in in as many activities as as i went through i was sexually exploited and uh, recruited into making gay porn videos where i happened to shoot several gay porn videos for smug which videos are actually uh, uploaded on, on websites such as www.80gays.com for commercial purposes of course what actually smug does is target uh, children into the age of 13 14 15 and 16 17 why they actually target uh, children of that age bracket is because it is very easy for them to indoctrinate the act actually their doctrine into these ages because for example you are a mother and your child is going to school and you can only offer them 20,000 now here comes smug actually offering your child a boy 500,000 so you can imagine it is very very easy to lower is such a boy into uh, acts of homosexuality because they use money and uh, of course other things but above all is smug is actually sexually exploiting children into terror acts of homosexuality okay most of their shelters are located in intinda chigowa uh, in Tinder, and they're known they're actually well uh, facilitated well protected by the uganda police force you will find police officers there and you might think it's the american embassy yet it's it's, it's actually smug shelters where they do their ruthless activities from shelters in the gay context these are safe spaces where actually the gay people 
do their shit from they do their activities from activities such as recording gay porn videos so i happened to be uh, enrolled in their system i went for so many gay porn recordings because i had been promised five million shillings on each video that i would shoot successfully enough of course i got the money i will not uh, i will not say that i did not get the money i got the money five million shillings each video and i shot more than five videos so but in the process because it's not protected sex uh, there's no medical checkup done before uh, uh, pre-recording of, of the videos so in the process i later started getting sick so i happened to go to one of the best uh, laboratories known as ebenezer i did several tests and then i was diagnosed with different illnesses long time illnesses which i will not mention so i i opted to go and have a discussion with uh with the directors on how best i could be enrolled for medication because my interest was in medicating medication so eventually uh my requests were turned away by the directors i i realized that one of their objectives is actually to recruit and once you're wasted off they dump you they've done it to so many gay young minors who have actually been recruited after they are diagnosed with different lifetime illnesses they dump them so i opted to put an end on what my uh, other colleagues were actually going through i have a number of colleagues in the gay community children actually they are minors that were recruited into filming gay porn videos they got hiv hepatitis b and other illnesses and then most of them resorted to killing themselves others have committed suicide others have taken poison so i wanted to put an end on whatever was going on so i decided i i decided to uh, alert the police I opened up both criminal and civil cases against the directors of Smug. I wrote to the NGO bureau. I availed them with all the attachments of the evidence that I had in my own capacity. I wrote to the Uganda police and all these are letters to affirm to what I am saying. Then of recent the NGO bureau came out to shut down sexual minorities Uganda uh on grounds that Smug was not registered, but on then other anonymous grounds that they the one that weren't stated was because I actually availed them with proof that Smug was actually trafficking, sexually trafficking, recruiting, and sexually exploiting minors into making gay porn meat videos and then make money out of them. Yeah, so my advice to the parents out there is to actually be keen on who your child associates with the gay agents have been sent out to schools to recruit more children into homosexuality